of what thought leaders are saying and what you really should and should be worrying about. Um, there are a couple of, I mean, and we, Krebs is the easiest one because he's the name you always remember. And I've got a bunch of other links yeah. to hang on to. Um, you can look at, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, and so I'm going to be uh, less popular here. Um, after years and years at working cutting edge, um, uh, Gartner is not your thought leader. Gartner tells you exactly what was important last year. Um, mm-hmm. Gartner's not, they're, they're, they're always trailing. Um, the people who are actually getting it done um, and, are, and are in the fire. Um, now, um, so how do we consume it? Um, blogs, uh, some blogs, not a lot. Yeah. Um, you can, you can, I'll tell you, and you can see, at least what big corporations are doing, you can see where they're making their investments in their, um, in their product lines, but honestly, face to face, every single one of these senior, um, folks mm. who are running companies, if they're not, they're, all of them are trying to sell you some. So now that I'm yeah. a consumer rather than a, than a, rather than a, a seller, um, the direct contact with either them or their, um, subordinates on where they're going and how, like, that's why I reached immediately at Stuart, because there are some challenges with, um, with um, Silence. Sorry, Stuart, Stuart wasn't Fire Eyes, Stuart Silence. I forgive me. Oh, Fire Eyes. Another, okay. Sorry, okay. Um, Fire Eyes yeah. is another one of our one of the products, and I, I think I know him too. Uh, he, uh, he, he's um, <laughs> Mandian. It, 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 I, I met him, but I don't know him. I, I would be able to differ. But I do know it's Kevin Mandian, and um, okay. he Mandian Fire Eye actually joined forces a couple of years ago. Um, so sorry about that. I don't want to misrepresent. Oh no, uh, no, all good. Like my my, no, my, my, my Captain Big Pants. Um, <laughs> yeah, so but it, it, direct, direct communication with with these these folks as well. What do you okay. think is important and why? Um, okay. Yeah. Do you so ever do you ever look to academia at all with, around security uh, uh, and security uh, leadership? No, it, it, um, I, I really don't, and that could just be me. Uh, and I my so my academic background. I graduated in '89 uh, with a degree of Colonial American History and Literature. After um, <laughs> reading history at um, Cambridge for two semesters, and um, it probably made me an awesome waiter, so I went back to school and got an engineering degree in nothing related at all to security. So I, I have a, a very, very soft spot for academia. However, when I worked at Microsoft, I worked in a couple of outreach programs um, to try to get academia more interested in consuming Microsoft products because um, mm-hmm. academia likes their Linux. And I found out mm-hmm. they liked it because it's free. Well, I'm, well, we give away free software mm-hmm. all the time, so let me hook you up. But there's such a resistance in the academic staff that um, what what the comparison between academia and uh, industry and, and and lead I'm going to argue leading industry. Um, so the Microsofts, the Amazons, um, you know, of the world, and I, and even our little corner of Expedia. This, there's this, some stuff we're doing with cloud, and we work so closely with Amazon. That there's some, mm-hmm. we are literally leading the pack in, in certain ways. When you're when you have essentially unlimited resources, effectively unlimited resources, and a, a, an imperative to turn that into profit, I would argue that the work is better, more complete, and um, and driven harder and farther. Academia is uh, afforded the opportunity to wander around with an idea for a bit. There is no mm-hmm. imperative to be first to the well, um, mm-hmm. and the academia will ultimately. Um, succeed because, you know, they, they they will own the history, if nothing else, of a thing. Whereas, um, like Docker and so on and hanging out with companies like that or uh, Hadoop and Big Data, um, man, they had to get there first because at every single mistake costs yeah. millions and millions of dollars. And yeah. So, um, yeah. yeah, yeah. No, that makes sense. Hey, you brought up an interesting point. You, you were saying that academics love their free stuff. It just made me think about open source. And something we've heard in some yeah. of the other view, interviews is that People like thought leaders to be open with what they're doing. Perhaps, you know, that it's part they contribute to open source projects sometimes, but also that there's just sort of can be an openness or transparency in what they're doing. Is that important to you around thought leadership? Um, open source is not open, is open to have the conversation. Um, I, it's mm-hmm. been interesting watching a couple of the, the thought leadership evolve around. Well, if, if their ideas can persist through the changes in industry uh, appetite for the next new toy, I mean, I mean, just you know, uh, 16 months ago, 18 months ago, you couldn't take a step forward without hearing Docker, right? And what's mm-hmm. Docker doing? Well, I, yep. um, and, and so they're a nice bunch of kids, and I was, I under, um, I accidentally ended up on the strategic steering committee for Hewlett 